it's it's very exciting to see the growth that we're seeing here in Europe, uh, especially with our experience management platform. And this is a pivotal time, um, as you're pointing out, as many industries are looking to emerge from the pandemic, every organization is going through uh, an experience transformation. We have employees, we have customers, who have more choices than ever right now, from hybrid workspaces to online delivery, to switching costs have never been lower for people. And so Qualtrics is a mission critical system to helping businesses and governments design and run the experiences for this new world. And in fact, organizations are using Qualtrics to understand customer and employee feedback in real time, what they want, what they need, and then we help them take action on that data to be able to deliver experiences that the customers and employees love. And we've seen a massive increase in the demand for experience management since we got started here in Europe in 2014. We have sustained rapid growth across the region. We have over 2,500 customers like the Financial Times, Airbus, BMW, and Merck. And so if you think about delivery services as an example, uh, they've been a lifeline these days for millions during the pandemic. A delivery hero as a company, it's an example. They've used Qualtrics to scale globally during the last 18 months because they're tuning into their customers, employees, and their restaurant partners all on the same platform. They've set up local feedback dashboards so the teams can fix problems immediately, and they're using Qualtrics to increase customer satisfaction by about 30% in just one year. So it's experienced data like this that is becoming the most valuable data within an organization. And so our announcement here to hire 1,000 additional employees across the region by 2024 represents a two and a half X growth of our workforce in the region compared to where we are today. And so we're going to keep scaling here in Europe. We're investing heavily in our talent and in our operations across the region. Uh, for example, uh, we'll open up an expanded headquarters and R&D center in Dublin early next year. And so we're all in on Europe and we're growing along uh, side of our customers. So Zig, just back to the question I asked you about the skill shortage. Do you expect to face any problems when you're hiring those workers here in Europe at this stage? You know, um, we, we've found that hiring employees and great talent in and across Europe hasn't been an issue necessarily. It certainly is more competitive in the market. In fact, you know, we're in the midst of every industry is in the midst of the great resignation. It's, you know, a war for talent that's out there and people are using the Qualtrics employee experience management part of our system to help to be able to create the right candidate experience, to be able to build culture. Uh, frankly, people are throwing out the old playbook on how to be able to recruit and engage uh, and be able to keep their workforce. And so it's a critical time when we're using the system ourselves uh, to be able to grow and expand the company. So can I ask you a question about the um, uh, consumer attitude towards the consumer surveys? Um, we're all increasingly time short, I think, and working in a high pressure environment and the last thing you want to do a lot of the time is to after you've made a purchase sit down and fill in a survey online for the company and these are the surveys that you provide are you finding any level of consumer resistance at this point or just a greater dropout rate as people are disinclined to fill in these feedback forms you know, with the change of advertising and the death of the third party cookie, companies are, are looking for an even greater need to be able to directly engage with their customers, whether they're directly asking their customers or their employees for feedback uh, to listen to them and to act on that data, or whether it's um, frankly what people want customers to know, what customers want the organizations that they're engaging with to know uh, about things that they can improve. Let's say, for example, when someone calls into a call center or when they're coming in over a chat experience. And so um, our platform has about 124 different ways of engaging and connecting with people, asking the right question at the right moment, but also tuning into social feedback, for example, or call center sentiment or level of effort that's actually required. And companies are using the platform, which is essentially what customers and employees want the organization to know to be able to action on that experience data and to frankly put their companies at the front of the line in terms of the way that they're leading in their markets. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.